Hello guys, I'm going to teach you how to do the uh, camera shake effect or earthquake effect in your videos using Adobe After Effects. So I'll be using Adobe After Effects CS6, uh, this one, and first thing you want to do is boot it up, which you can probably guess, and then if you're totally new to this, I'll show you how to uh, do it briefly, but you just want to make a new comp composition uh which is like the box which you're going to put your video in so imagine the video is a piano you need a box to ship that piano and that's uh, don't worry um so yeah set the width and height to whatever you need you can use a preset if you need to but yeah frame rate i filmed at 24 fps so of course i'll set it up to that duration 10 seconds is plenty long enough for the purpose of this tutorial next you want to grab your footage and put it in to the project window so navigate um to wherever your project footage is oh, where is it actually yeah all right so i think okay so this is a shot i shot quickly um in like two seconds in my backyard well actually goes for longer but you don't need to know that so first thing I'm gonna do is cut the first bit off because it shakes from when I push the record button and then it's pretty stable um, so first part is you want to get this little Riggler window here uh, put that back there to get that you need to go into the top bar up here where it says window click on it and then Make sure this regular button here is ticked. If it's not ticked, it won't be there. So you got to make sure it's ticked. If you don't know, left click on it, it'll be ticked. Now you want to open up the properties for your video that you're trying to change. You want to set up, I'll use position. Um, no, nah, no, I won't bother with the rotation. But So you want to put one at the start of where you want the camera shake. And then put one where you want it to end. Now I'm no expert. But this works for me, so yeah. Uh, noise type, smooth, dimensions, all independently. Frequency, that's how many times you want to shake per second. Three is good for like handheld shake. Magnitude, set that to around five. So imagine frequency, you know, that's how many times it's going to shake per second. That's a good way of explaining it, but you get the idea. Magnitude is how big the shake is going to be. So magnitude of five, it's going to be pretty big. I don't think it'll be too big though. So as you can see, I'll do a quick RAM preview. Um, and there you go. So as you can see, it's a bit shaky, but you are getting the uh, edges moving off the screen. So, or inside the window. So you can just scale it up just a tiny bit. That should solve it. Um, at a magnitude this small, doesn't really need to be much. So as you can see, it's a bit of shake there, if you look carefully. Um, then of course, if you decide, you know what, that's not enough. Chuck it up to 10. Apply that, give it a quick RAM preview. And huzzah, there it is. Bit more shaky, of course, because the magnitude is bigger, it's going to shake. Uh... The shakes are going to be bigger, I guess. So you want to set your scale up to even more. Uh, so set it to 105. That's way overkill, but it doesn't matter for the moment. Tweak it to your liking. As you can see, it went from a steady shot to a, you know, reasonably convincing handheld thing. This You can use this for, like, this is useful for, like, um, any, say you want to do, uh, a Minecraft machinima or something like that, you can use it, real life stuff, or say you want to do an earthquake, yeah, let's do an earthquake, so we'll put the frequencies up to, frequency up to 7 per second, we'll just put that, now nah, that's, that's outrageous, Hang on, let me just put that, to like, that's going to be outrageous as well, but it'll be fun, so as you can see, it's just going to shake crazily, so put that to something which I reckon will work, yep, that's going to be fine. So, quick do a RAM preview of that, and it's shaking a lot, as you can see. Now, you can tweak this, um, it's called the Riggler. Uh, yeah, so look up how to use it properly, 
I figured this all out myself, so there's probably going to be better ways to do it, but this works for me, so I don't care. Not to be me, I don't care. Um, so, if you enjoyed, leave a like. I probably will do more videos like this. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.